24 hours ago playing for Manchester City a broken metatarsal confirmed today Di Maria yes the birthday boy the ex-Real Madrid player fires home the free kick against Barcelona for Paris Saint-Germain Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't have seen it until it came over the wall. PSG had put a couple of players in there. But he doesn't actually put that much on. He just gets it over the wall. And it drops in about halfway up the goal. It's a brilliant free kick from Di Maria. Announcing himself as a Champions League player for his new club. It's his fifth goal already since his move. But this is a special one. It's against Barcelona. But again, they won it back in a good position in midfield. They then had players running forward. It's Messi that has the ball taken off him there. Draxler plays the ball square, then makes another run. The fullback, Alba, can't get back round on the cover. But what a good strike. He's a left-footed player. Finds himself having to shoot with his right foot. And it's a back across the goalkeeper. The perfect finish and the perfect counter-attacking goal. PSG have been brilliant in this first half. It's he, the man with the magic touch, but they've been looking. Gravio. That's beautifully constructed again. Kujava. Di Maria can hit them as we know with his left foot, just like that. He scores again. It's 3-0 here. Ecstasy for Paris Saint-Germain. Bewilderment for Barcelona. What a day for Di Maria. Well, it all came about because on that occasion, PSG played out from the back. Looked as though they were going to play themselves into trouble, but they played around the pressure and suddenly they were getting in at the back four of Barcelona. The overlapping run of Mounier just took one or two of the Barcelona eyes away and suddenly Di Maria found himself in the position he wanted to be. Here's the play. Messi tries to close down here, doesn't win the ball. Little ball around the corner, the Tweedy does brilliantly to play in Kajava and suddenly Barcelona are in trouble. But it's the run of the fullback here. Mounier just stops Alba, makes Alba go that little bit wide. It buys that little bit of time for Di Maria. And you knew once he got in onto his left foot, as you said, every chance he was going to score or certainly hit the target. Able to size it up. And Unai Emery, whose first thought always from right back is to drive on. Looking for Cavani, can hit it, and does hit it. 4-0! They swept forward again, and they swept aside Barcelona again. Well, it's brilliant from the fullback. Mounier to start with, but how easily does he go past the first challenge? And there's no holding midfield player, so he can run, he can run, he can run. And as we've said on many occasions, if you want a centre forward to make the right runs when somebody's running with the ball through midfield, there's your man Cavani. Timing, angle of the run, yes, the weight of the pass was exactly right. Look how easy it is for Mounier to run past Neymar. There's the run. Really, PK should get across a lot, lot quicker. And he just whacks it in at that near post. Brilliant finish. Well, what a Valentine's Day it is. Di Maria, his birthday, two goals. Cavani, his birthday, a goal. And one of the greatest occasions in Paris Saint-Germain's history, this. Make no mistake about it. Which the substitute, even Rakitic, will take. Hangs it up towards PK. Oh, that's as close as they've come. With Umtiti. 
from the scoreline, but it could have changed here. Here it is again. Ooh, he just about does enough. Kajava, he gets back onto that far post. Does he get the touch? Was it Umtiti? I think this might be good defending in the end. Ooh, it doesn't get a touch, but he puts Umtiti off. Big, big chance, though, for the second.